The New York Jets haven't made any big moves yet, but we retain three of our own. The New York Jets are bringing back Will Parks, LaMarcus Joyner, and Connor McDermott. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome in, gang. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, I go live every Monday at 8 o'clock for my live call-in show, and then we come back Tuesday with our Talking Jets panel from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, myself, O'Leary, and Greenbean. So ask us all your Jet-related questions. But let's jump into today's topic of the day, and that is the New York Jets retain three of their own. I know it's not some big-name signing. We didn't see a big trade or anything just yet, but you got to start working with your own guys in-house, and then we'll kind of figure this all out. So the first guy up that we retained... Connor McDermott, 29 years old, 6 foot 8, 305 pound backup tackle. He appeared in 5 games this year. This was his highest graded season of his career, grading out as a 68.4. He actually had a pretty decent pass blocking grade of a 73.7, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me because of the 2 games that he really got a ton of snaps in, he gave up 2 sacks in each game. So giving up 4 sacks in the 2 games that you had you know, a lot of playing time in. Not ideal. But again, we're not signing him to be a starter. We're signing him to be a depth piece. This is someone who caught a touchdown in the uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars game. So maybe a six foot eight tackle coming out the side uh, isn't the worst sort of weapon backup plan to have. Now, maybe this means they eventually move on from Edoga or something along those lines. But look, Backup offensive lineman, if we saw anything last year, it probably makes sense to have that because he had to come in for George Fant. Obviously, we lost Mekhi Becton. And then towards the end of the year, we lose McGovern and some of our other pieces as well. So this one's fine for me. I don't think it moves the needle, but I think it's a good retaining for sure. Second player up, uh, we get into the safeties. And this one is Will Parks. I'm kind of excited for this one. He's 27 years old, six foot one, 194 pounds. He appeared in the final three games for the New York Jets. He graded out over the course of those three weeks, as an 82.3, a 49.7, and a 70.7. That 49.7 is a little deceiving because his grade got knocked down significantly because of a 31-yard reception that he gave up. So it's really not as bad as it looked. He just didn't get tested all that much. Uh, he's got great versatility. He actually played, like, all over the field. According to Pro Football Focus, they had him four snaps on the D-line, 34 in the box, 20 as a slot cornerback, one out wide, 32 as free safety, 12 kick return coverage, 6 kick returns, 5 punt returns. So this is someone, again, versatile, special teams player. You're going to get some depth. You're going to get maybe the upside of potentially having a, you know, halfway decent backup safety. Jets are going to need to figure out the safety position. Uh, but it definitely helps us moving on to our next player as well. And this is someone that I had us retaining in my mock offseason, and that's LaMarcus Joyner. He's 31 years old, 5 foot 8. 191 pounds. Last year, he signed a one-year, $2.5 million deal as of recording this video. I actually haven't seen the contracts for any of these three, but I would imagine the Joiner one is probably like a one-year, $1 million contract. Um, now, he used to be a great safety, and then the last two years prior to him coming with us, he was with the Raiders, and they had him play in the nickel, and it really did not suit him well. He wound up having like pretty bad grades those last two years. So I was really looking forward to seeing what him and Marcus May would do in our secondary and to watch him go down with the torn triceps just nine snaps into the season was just so heartbreaking because I was really, really excited for finding some valuable uh, assets without having to shell out a whole lot of money. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he could really do for us this year, especially because you have Marcus May, who's definitely going to be walking in free agency. You had that fr relationship kind of fracture this past year. He tears his Achilles. Jets look like they're, they're poised to move on from him. So you're going to need a veteran back there anyway, and Marcus Joyner is kind of the the vet quarterback in the secondary that can get all the guys lined up. I think this is important because you have a very, very young secondary, especially if you wind up going into the draft and you're taking either a Kyle Hamilton or a Sauce Gardner. That's just adding more and more youth to this side of the ball. So I really like bringing back these three. I don't think any of them are overly groundbreaking by any means, but I think they're solid moves by Joe Douglas. So guys, let me know in the, the, in the comment section down below what you think of these three retainings. Do you like any... Do you like any of them? Do you, are you upset with any of them? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, go Jets.